Hi there, I'm Michelle and this is Christina and we're with Fitright Precision Pipe Fitting Systems and today we're going to show you how to install the stanchions, speed rails and bin rail. Choose the desired area for the speed rail installation. Carefully lay out the long run of the speed rail with a chalk line. Position the speed rail components in their desired position on the floor in the area where they will ultimately be. Position hinge ends in proper alignment. Insert long bolt into the hinge holes and ensure all is centered on chalk marked center lines. Carefully measure from red dot to red dot 36 inches for a 90 degree angle or 47 and 132nd inches for a 45 degree angle. Use framing square to verify 90 degree angle or triangle and framing square to verify 45 degree angle. Carefully tick mark with chalk on the floor the location of the center line of the speed rail support adjustment bolts. Carefully chalk perpendicular line through the tick marks. Confirm all center lines and reposition entire speed rail assembly out of the way. Position the speed rail stanchion drilling template, making sure that the end V's and center diagonal square are precisely positioned on the center lines. Ensure that all holes will be two and three quarter inches deep. While standing on the standals, carefully hammer drill one of the center holes. When all four holes are drilled, thoroughly clean all cement dust within and around the holes with a vacuum and or air hose. Drop an anchor into each hole with female thread up. Use provided setting tool to set the drop in anchors. Hammer until setting tool shoulder rests on anchor top. Complete that operation at all four stanchion locations. Use provided hold down hex bolts, washers, and hex leveling nuts to prepare for bolting down stanchion bases. Insert hex bolt through washer, finish side against bolt head, and insert through stanchion base plate hole. Add next washer, face side away from the plate. Add leveling nut and finger tighten to about one half inch from washer. Repeat this process for each hole. Carefully apply a small portion of anti-seize thread lubricant between the leveling nut and the washer. Remember, one dab is enough to cover your whole body, and it's not fun to wash off. Finger tighten the leveling nut and back off one turn. Repeat on the other three hex bolts. Apply small dab of anti-seize thread lubricant to the end of each hex bolt. Erect the speed rail support stanchion at the selected location. Position the stanchion with four hex bolts into the drop-in anchors and get each bolt started. After all bolts are started, turn leveling nut down to the top of floor. Hold leveling nut with open end wrench while tightening hold down hex bolts. When all speed rail stanchions are bolted down, ensure that they are level and plumb. Correct plumb by raising both leveling nuts on the low side in equal amounts. Locate and carry the approximately 10 foot square tubing mid rail to position on the stanchion with the ear. Position the mid rail on the ear diagonally as shown. Lift the other end of the mid rail and insert ear of other stanchion into the mid rail. Slide the stanchion over the anchors. 
Locate drop-in anchors and secure this mid-rail stanchion base in a manner similar to the other three stanchions and finish bolting down. Lift and position the main run of the speed rail on top of the speed rail stanchions. Position the other two legs on the respective stanchions and apply hinge bolt in both ends. Finger tighten hinge bolt lock nut temporarily. Carefully center all pieces on their respective stanchions. Ensure dot to dot 90 and 45 degree angles are correct. Turn speed dial support adjustment bolts to tune and level speed rail starting from the highest elevation. Use torpedo level or other device to determine 45 degree angle on speed rail sides. Adjust twist and square tube as required with adjustment bolts on speed rail support legs. Level the speed rail by adjusting the lower side up always. Each section of the speed rail should be tuned to the last section to ensure that all rails are exactly the same elevation and are diagonally 45 degrees on their faces. After speed rail is totally adjusted and tuned and angles are confirmed, tack weld speed rail support adjustment bolt to stanchion head plate. Repeat this procedure at all speed rail support adjustment bolts. After the speed rail is tack welded into place, the installation is ready for production. We're certain that the speed rail installation will greatly enhance your pipe fabrication process. We hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it.